want to talk to you just briefly about some things about just getting wealthy. You know, a lot of people, you, you, people seek to get wealthy or they seek to secure their current financial status. And obviously right now out there, a lot of people are having a very difficult time. And we can see that in the economy. And it happens. It's a cycle that comes and, and uh, it'll pass at some point. But during this time, a lot of people, you know, they do. They, they can lose their job. They can, uh, they can and if they lose their job, they can lose everything they have. And I've seen it happen over the years. Well, what I would like for you to do is to get to a secure area where these things don't matter to you, where you can basically do uh, and live a life, the same kind of life, hopefully, that, that uh, I live and that other people who have discovered these, I'm not going to say they're secrets because they're really they're not. I mean, people like me are always presenting them, but it's actually hard to find people like me that will actually give you all their, all their secrets and, and all their techniques and show you, okay, well, this is what I did to get here. And I have now a, a extreme desire and passion to help other people achieve that same thing. So I want to just talk about that for a second, talk about uh, getting wealthy and the true method that you should be implementing to get wealthy, to get the security that you need. Because if you don't do it, if you don't do these things, and they're simple things, but if you don't do them, you will end up like the other 99% of Americans out there, and you'll retire with about $40,000. That's a government figure, it's not mine. $40,000 in your retirement account. That's the average American retiring right now at 62 to 65 years of age. All right, let me, let me switch over and show you how it can be and why you should be listening to me because you, the first thing I'm going to say is you have to be very careful who you listen to. There's a lot of people out there who are dead broke or they're working from paycheck to paycheck. Um, or they are, they've got a bright idea for a business or something and they're trying to you know, get off the ground and they're going to try and grab your attention and tell you, hey, this is what you should be doing. Or you be careful of these people. Also be careful of people who just started to come into money in the last few years. Maybe they got, they got lucky and they hit on something that worked for them and now they're trying to say, hey, do this and you'll make money. Because these are all fads. These are things that there's no history behind it. And there is a system that can work to make you wealthy. Now let me let me start to give you a little bit more guidance here. The first thing that I learned when I started out, and I started in real estate uh, and being successful in real estate day one. I mean, it was there was no doubt about it. Uh, day one, I started being successful in real estate. It was the only business that I had truly been successful in. I thought I had been successful in some prior businesses. So when I was 18, 19, 20, I owned my own business businesses, but I, and I was working full time as a restaurant manager, you know, because that was really where my money was coming from. Businesses don't generally pay off that well, and it takes a while to build them, and that was my problem. I thought you could get wealthy just by starting your own business, and then I found the reality of the truth is that just doesn't work out that way. Well, what I found when I got into real estate was that within 30 days I had made $130,000 at age 22, life-changing earth-shaking. It was completely changed my life. I had been working long hours before that. I had been struggling through businesses, employee problems, all these things that you know people don't even think about that come along with business that are negatives. Well, I've learned those the hard way, like most people do. And I hope you, I hope you haven't had to go through all that yet. And if you're just starting out looking for a business, I want to fast track you into how to get successful very quickly. Um, Real estate, by far, the best way. Now, is it the only way? No, there are some other things. All right, I want you to realize that probably, first of all, be careful, as I said, who you talk to. Make sure who you talk to is successful, has a proven record of, of being successful, and they better be at the top of their industry, and that's how you get successful. If you want to get successful and make big money in computers, you need to somehow figure out a way to get in the room with Bill Gates or Jobs or any of these guys who are at the top of their industry because that's the that's the fast track. You get with these guys, you're talking to them, you're communicating with them, you will, you will just skyrocket. Otherwise, you're talking to their flunkies at the bottom of the scale, you'll never get anywhere. Okay, so that was, that's one lesson. First of all, find somebody successful doing what you want to do and somehow get with them. Let me give you a story to you real quick. 
I had a young man, this was about four or five years ago. He, he was an immigrant from India. He came over here. He, he was on a, he had a green card simply because he was going to college. Uh, he graduated college as a pharmacist. He realized the maximum he could get. Uh, and he came out of a prestigious university in New York, but the, the maximum he could make starting out was 60000 a year in the pharmaceutical business or whatever he trained in. Well, he realized that he needed to get into business for himself. And I also noticed people obviously coming from overseas, they realize there's so much opportunity here in America. Uh, unfortunately, most Americans don't, don't see that. But he did. He came over here. What he, this young man did uh, and he was about, I think he was about my same age, 22, 23, when he, uh, when he was got started in this. But he figured out a way to call, first of all, he called Robert Allen. A lot of you guys know Robert Allen. He's a, he's a real estate guru uh, as well out there. He called up Robert Allen and somehow talked his way into getting a lunch with Robert Allen. And he picked his brain for what he could. It wasn't enough for him. He did understand some basic concepts that he got into uh, some kind of small side business that Robert advised him to get into. He then called me because he heard about my inverse purchase. He called me and called me and called me. Now I realize how he got a lunch with Robert Allen. He kept calling me and would never stop calling me wanting to have lunch with me. And so finally I, I broke and he, he came in, had lunch with me and literally left that lunch. Okay, just having had lunch with me and I went over a few things with him. I understand, I understood, and there was a, several things that were going on. I had a deal I was working on. I brought him into that deal. I said, okay, look, I already got this deal. Here, you, you take it over at this point and do the showings for me because some of you know I, I hate doing showings. So he did that part, and right away he closed his first deal. He paid me back triple, which is my deal with him. You pay me back triple, and I, I let you into the deal. And so that's how he did it, and that's how he learned the business. To this, to this day, in fact, I just spoke to him uh, about three or four weeks ago. To this day, he is one of the biggest uh, real estate investors in his city right now and still doing it strong, making uh, so much money. He's actually now helping his family immigrate over here from India as well. And he's made several trips back and forth. So he's like the richest guy in the whole family now uh, as far as they go. But his whole degree and everything he went to college for, hung on the wall. That's it. I mean, that's where that deg those degrees, they don't make you the money. Well, I tell you this because the idea that I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting that you do here is find somebody really wealthy and learn from them. Now, let me give you something else that's going to start to blow your mind. I do everything out of my house. I don't go to an office. I don't have to go to an office. In, 19, in 1982, I stopped going to the office. When I got into real estate, I realized I don't have to go to the office anymore. I don't have to go to work for anybody anymore. I don't have a boss anymore. Well, until I got married, then you know that, that changed. But once you realize that you don't have to go in to work anymore, once you realize that you can work for yourself and you can have a happy life working out of your home, it, does, it, it never ends. From there, you build. And I did, I worked with mentors. People, I would pick their brains along the way trying to figure out how do I stretch myself? How do I get to that next area? And you know, I, I, so I learned from other people that have already been there. So that's one of the key secrets that I learned. I'm gonna pass it on, I'm passing it on to you right now. Find somebody who's already got there. It's easier for them to pull you up than for you to push your way up. All right, so learn their secrets, learn their techniques, pick up everything you can from them. And you don't have to stop with one person. You know, you can jump and, you know, maybe over a period of five years, you may jump through three different mentors trying to get where you want to get to, living the lifestyle that you want to live because we're all different. Uh, I like my lifestyle. I like working out of my home. I was able to raise my son, homeschool him. Uh, we have such a great bond even to this day. Well, he lives, he even lives very close by, you know, so it makes for a very close family when you can work out of your home. Um, it, it seals a bond also with your family. I don't think you can do it any other way as, as much as you can if you uh, are in the house instead of at work and you missed your whole family growing up and you've missed all those years. So I was lucky in that also because of that. You can have that also in your life no matter where you're starting out at. But if you want the freedom to do that, 
I want you to pay attention to what I'm, I'm trying to um, talk to you or train you on uh, in my system because that's how you're going to get there. When I say working out of my home, the other thing that comes with that is, is I have the ability to enjoy my life. So if I want to take off and go somewhere, I can, you, which you can't do working for somebody else. So I've traveled all over the place and I'll get on a, a jet and go wherever I want anytime I want. And uh, that's the freedoms that you have working out of your home and having something that pays you. The single business that I have that makes the largest profits for me, bar none, year in, year out, has always been real estate. All right, so that's the base. The lesson I learned many years ago is find a base, find your base business, get it going, get it making money. From there, you start to spread out. You can add some additional businesses on as long as it doesn't take away from your base. All right? In other words, your attention away from the base. You've got to keep your base in line and you never give up your base. This is a strategy I teach you if you have a full-time job right now and you're coming into real estate for the first time. You don't, you don't quit your day job all right, until you've established a new base. The new base had better replace the income before you give up the other income. And it needs some longevity. So I always tell people, don't give up your day job for at least a year. Even though you could make more money, and probably will make more money in your first year in real estate than your day job pays. But there, there are certain things that keep you mentally balanced. And one of those is making sure you have a good, steady base you can count on so you don't get stressed out about the business. All right, so this is the same thing here. I'm gonna teach you right now how to come in here and get into the real estate business and you can build from there. There's other things, of course, obviously you can add, but you need to get a strong base in real estate first, and then you can start to uh, branch out if you want to. Um, the single biggest thing that um, I did in my life that has really given me the financial freedom is learning how to buy and sell real estate and not hold on to it. It's basically flipping real estate. Flipping real estate is the key. Let me give you an example. This morning, my real estate agent calls calls up and says, uh, okay, we have an offer uh, coming in on the house from an attorney uh, on the house. And I've got probably, I've got a, maybe about a $100,000 profit spread on this deal I'm flipping. It's nowhere near me, it's probably about 300 miles away. I've never met the realtor. It couldn't even tell you what she looks like, okay? Um, but I don't need to meet real, real estate agents. Using my system, I can employ them wherever I get a house under contract. Wherever I have a house in the United States, I can employ a real estate agent right there to flip that house for me. So I don't have to do it. So I just sit back and I'm waiting for them to bring me the offers. I'll never meet the attorney that's putting the offer in for the buyer. I'll never meet the buyer. Uh, I may not even know the name of the buyer since they have, a, since they have an attorney involved on, on the deal. Um, some buyers will buy a house and, and never expose their client's name. It just depends. So this is kind of like, this begins to show you the kind of life you can have. So today we have offer coming in, but I'm here at home, 300 miles away. I don't have to do anything but pick up a phone and communicate with, with and basically I'm going to end up saying yes or no to whatever the offer is coming in, right? Um, but from here, I, I'll go out to the pool for the rest of the day, probably, sit back, I'll smoke a cigar. Uh, I've got another training session I'm going to do with some, some people who are connected to another uh, area of our business today but for another hour, and, and that's my day, today, all right? So I do different things on different days, but uh, that's the kind of life that I would hope all of you would like to have. And if you want to do other things, obviously you can go do other things. I just very content most of the time, hanging around the house, hanging around the pool, uh, kicking back, going out to nice restaurants, eating in nice restaurants, going and visiting different uh, arts and stuff like that. You know, it's the life I think that a lot of people would love to have where you're not worried about money, you're not worried about bills, and you have enough time. Well, you've got money coming in, but you have enough time to enjoy life. And I remember this one business I had, I was working so many hours on it, I was making some good money at that business, but I had no time to enjoy the money. So it was always either work really hard and make a lot of money, uh, or you had, and you had no time to enjoy the money, or you started to work smart. You started leveraging everything. 
and get other people to do some stuff for you. So your deals and your success is very important to me. I work with you on that basis. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude up today. Thank you very much.